Val flirted with me first, but I... I was being cordial and, and chivalrous. No. And in 2014 he... it was. Sweetie. You know, chivalry could be misconstrued as flirting. But okay, the in, first in thing... In the old country... No, 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 no. The first thing you said to me... You're supposed to open doors me, for ladies. You were like, I can sell my sweat and it smells of the gods. I was like, this lost guy in translation. is extra. The comedy was lost in translation, <laughs> clearly. Hi, I'm Val Schmikowski. Hi, I'm Jenna Johnson. Our story is about love. We first met in 2013. Um, it was Jenna's first season, and this was our very first rehearsal of the entire project. I was so nervous because I was the only new person joining that season. I walked in, and one of the first people I saw was this handsome guy. I just thought to myself, he's the one. I was attracted almost immediately to her energy and her confidence and the way she carried herself. And then I found out she was from Utah and I kind of kept my distance. He's kind of a legend in the ballroom competition world. And so I had always grown up knowing about him. She's knew... dreamed about me, Stop pretty much. It. That's what she's trying to say. No. We come from very different worlds for us to both meet in Hollywood was a very, very unique coincidence. It's one that I'm very grateful for. I mean, our first official day was pretty spontaneous. I was crossing the street on Melrose Ave. She almost ran me over. <laughs> this uh, is a true story. You sure. ran in front of me and I was like, Grr! and then I was like, oh, I know him. In true New York fashion, I was probably jaywalking. You were. I was like, hey, what you doing later? And she was like, nothing. I was like, why don't you come over? We'll play chess. And she came over and I taught her how to play chess and that was our first date. We got engaged on June 15th of 2018. He completely surprised me. I mean, me. usually that's how it happens. I love him so much, but he's pretty incapable of planning anything ahead. And so we were in Venice and basically went through all of his bags and didn't see anything. And so I was like, just gonna enjoy the trip. I did it like they do it in prison. You know, I carried it my, the whole trip. He didn't know I was in your backpack. We were sitting in this cafe and I have like three undercover cameras and I was in Venice 15 years ago and I promised myself that when I meet the love of my life, this was where I was gonna propose and here I am proposing. It was perfect. I think my favorite thing about you is that you're my rock. You keep me super grounded and I always have to fall back on you because I know that you're like never gonna leave my side and you'll always be there for me. My favorite thing about being in love with you is waking up next to you every single morning and seeing your beautiful face. Mm -hmm. it's, it's love. love.